In this video, I'll talk about how to use ROC curve for model selection in the classification uh, in a modeling framework. ROC uh, stands for the receiver operating characteristics. It's a popular uh, matrix uh, uh, to select um, a classification model out of a number of classification models. So, uh, why do uh, we need to, uh, you know, use ROC when there are other matrices like, you know, confusion matrix? Well, a number of times uh, you will see that, uh, you know, one need to compare the um, the accuracy uh, accuracy of prediction across a number of uh, uh, different uh, cutoff points. Normally, people go for 0.5, right? So, 0.5 is the cutoff in classification models most of the time, but it may not be a suitable cutoff for you know all kinds of models. It it actually depends on the domain in which the model is being built. It, uh, so. Uh, the cutoff that can be used for a healthcare uh, uh, industry related model uh, will be different than uh, a cutoff used uh, in the financial service industry or for that matter in any other industry. So, based on the domain of the problem, uh, the cutoff could actually differ. So, uh, you know, taking a standard cutoff uh, is, is actually not very good. So, uh, ROC has uh, this feature of taking all possible thresholds. So, so that is the important point to remember. So, this is one matrix which takes into account all uh, possible thresholds or, or cutoff point and measure the performance in a summarized fashion and that is very important because you, you do not really need to um, uh, you know worry about uh, you know the standard cutoff score which is 0.5 so if somebody has uh, you know some the the uh, domain uh, uh, requires that the cutoff should be something like 0.4 you can actually measure the performance of different model at 0.4 by looking at the ROC curve so let's uh, talk about uh, you know briefly about how do uh, you know one uh, come up with a ROC curve from a prediction model uh, if the classification model you uh, get the the probability right so for example we want to predict the probability of default on a loan okay and let's say the cutoff score is 0.5 okay so anyone with uh, probability of default greater than 0.5 is going to default and uh, anyone who has a probability score lesser than that uh, is not going to default so that's what uh, we have found from the prediction model we also have the actual data so we uh, come up with this uh, you know the cross tabulation of the actual default the actual default and the uh, predicted default now if the actual default and predicted default uh, matches we call that as true positive uh, and the actual non default and the predicted non default matches then we call it as true negative remember we are using 0.5 as the cutoff score for uh, you know to, to get to know whether uh, it's a predicted default or predicted non default or not okay the actual of course you can get it from the historical data now if if uh, the data point is uh, actually default and it's you know being categorized as non default then it's a false negative and if you you know change change the default and uh, the actual and the predicted then it's going to be the false positive now, uh, then we uh, compute two more, uh, you know, uh, numbers, what is known as a true positive rate and false positive rate. I am not going to the details of it, but yes, uh, you come up with these two numbers uh, from, from this uh, particular uh, cross tabulation. And then you plot the, the true positive rate with respect to the false positive rate at different cutoff points. Okay. So, need not necessarily, I mean, I mean, not necessarily you use the uh, cutoff score as 0.5. So, you will have several such tables being used by the algorithm to come up with these uh, ROC curve. So, all possible cutoff points will be used. So, it is a continuous curve. This is how the ROC curve looks like. So, in the y axis, you have the true 
positive rates and in the x axis you have the false positive rates so the curve should be uh, ideally should be you know closer to the uh, left uh, uh, upper corner so the more it is closer towards this corner the better is the model and uh, this is the baseline uh, the line which joins uh, this one the diagonals is the baseline that means uh, the curve should not be below this otherwise it, it's a very bad model uh, you know you cannot even uh, predict the random uh, uh, you know it, it, it's not even doing better than the random guess okay so the model should have this uh, should always be in the upper side of uh, in the left hand side of this particular baseline now how do you choose a model which is uh, really base suitable for uh, the given problem now as i have already said roc is very useful when uh, you are dealing with some domain specific problem um so as i have already said uh, a particular cutoff cannot really work in all uh, across all types of domains some of the domains business domains or you know some scientific research domains have their own specified cutoff value although in principle the one which is having highest air, uh, area under uh, under this particular curve known as auc should be the uh, the best model out of a set of models but at a particular cutoff point if that's the requirement then one need to find out at this particular cutoff point say 0.4 uh, probability 0.4 which model is actually performing the best so in the classification um, case you can use logistic regression you can use linear discriminant analysis support vector machines and with different features you can have you know several models so you can plot all the rocs and see at the cutoff score 0.4 which model is actually doing the best and that's how you select uh, you know the best model and that's one of the difference between the roc and other matrices like confusion matrix where you know you you simply get uh, the accuracy uh, values uh, uh, at the particular cutoff point you cannot compare across different uh, across all possible cutoff point so that's also uh, uh, it also helps you know finding out the suitable cutoff point sometimes so that's how it is different from other matrices.